All right. So you're a WordPress developer, but you've never made a plugin before, and you don't know where to start. This is the video for you. All right. So the question is, how do you make something appear on your plugin screen? Well, the answer is actually um, that you've got a directory. Typically, it's under WP Content slash plugins, um, and that folder contains your plugins. Some of them can just be a single file, like Hello Dolly, but for the most part, what they are is actually not a single file, but multiple. Um, so you're gonna have a folder in there. Uh, I'm gonna call this one Quick Guide. And I'm going to then, inside of the Quick Guide folder, I'm gonna create a file. Most typically, and this is what I'm gonna do, you're gonna call that file the same thing as the folder. Um, but then you're going to add a .php on the end. And inside of that folder, you're going to insert what's, what WordPress knows as the plugin header. And this is essentially, inside of some PHP code, it's a comment that is details about that plugin. So when you're seeing on this screen, the required featured image is a plugin by PressUp Inc. that, like it says on the tin, requires posts to have a featured image when they're published. That stuff is in the plugin header for that plugin. So I've saved and uh, updated and saved this and I've gone and created it and so now I've got this uh, quick guide plugin and it says for quick guides because of something kind of funny I did that I'm gonna undo real quick uh, two plugins are showing up there uh, because it doesn't care what the folder name is they'll show up in the name of their order so this is my quick guide plugin and I haven't activated it I can activate any plugin that has a plugin header though. This plugin does absolutely nothing. There is no executable code in this plugin. Nothing will happen from this plugin. But when I activate it, it is now going to be activated. And what activation means for WordPress is that just that this file gets executed. So if I want to, I can then put into a file something as dumb and silly as die. And I'll say my plugin was here. And all of this is, uh, if you're not familiar, all die does is it stops the execution of a PHP function and it will dump what's in inside of it. So my plugin was here, has shown up now. And because that's because my plugin was activated. If I comment out die uh, and deactivate my plugin. So without the guide, without that die command in there, I've got it and my site works fine. I can then go uncomment out the die and I'm still fine because the plugin is no longer active. Thus, this file isn't executed by PHP slash WordPress. If I go back and I install the plugin again or activate the plugin again, this time I'm gonna see a slightly different thing because WordPress is smart enough to not let a plugin that does this um, uh, kill your site. So it's hard to do that, but you can uh, cause problems. But basically, all that makes a plugin a plugin is that plugin header. Otherwise, it's just PHP code, the same way you'd put in a, a function.php in your theme or anything else. And you can just write whatever kind you want in there and do what you will with it. All right, I hope that's helpful.